Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This is Winter. All right, I'm going to jump right into it. So let's talk about why the Claremont twins are always going to win and why bimbofication is always <laughs> going to win. So I've been noticing on YouTube that there has been this trend recently. And if y'all hear me opening anything, it's some water. So there's been this trend, um, not even a trend. There's been some really good analysis being done on YouTube about BBLs and body modifications, right? And I'm all here for it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to take a sip of water because I'm thirsty. Okay, so there's been some really great analysis being done. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I have my own thoughts. I'll probably upload a BBL video soon. But what I want to talk about today is the Claremont twins and their bimbofication and why I'm 100% here for it. And I'm really confused by the people, especially the black women who seem really determined to tear them down. Okay, so one... If you're not familiar with the Claremont Twins, I'm not about to sit here and give you guys an entire context background information. So here's the Cliff Notes version. The Claremont Twins were on the Bad Girls Club. The Claremont Twins were involved in, I'm not even going to call it an altercation. The Claremont Twins were targeted and they were bullied and they were harassed. So including the Claremont Twins on their season of Bad Girls Club, I believe there were only about four black women i could be wrong there could have been one more but at the time of this harassment suit because yes they ended up suing bad girls club actually had the whole entire show shut down for a number of years and they were awarded tens of millions of dollars in their settlement so the claremont twins were singled out targeted and bullied there was one other black girl who was also included in this she was obviously their friend and ally so all the other women in the house, the white women, took all their stuff, destroyed their property, bullied them, and lined up, and every single white woman thought they were going to fight them. The Claremont twins, very wisely, did not even react in like any violent manner, truly. like Obviously, they were screaming and yelling, and they were upset, but they played the game, and they played it very well. They got locked in one of the houses. Um, without their phones, without their belongings, and it, you know, it became an ordeal. So this episode was aired, which, when I think about the Bad Girls Club, I'm kind of like, did y'all want to get sued? Because why would y'all air this episode? Like, y'all should have handled this in-house and not even aired the episode, but whatever. Ratings! Um, so, the Claremont Twins sue, they win, they get tens of millions of dollars. From here, this is when they begin to do their body modifications. My personal opinion on how they looked beforehand doesn't matter. I always thought they were cute girls. I literally always thought they were cute girls. I enjoyed them. Um, on the few episodes of the Bad Girls Club I saw them on, I don't... So here's some tea about me. I don't watch reality television shows. I never have. Um, and when I say I never have, it's not to say I've never seen a single episode of any type of reality television. I've obviously seen episodes, but I don't... I'm not an active participant in reality TV. Um, so if you ask me anything about the Real Housewives, Big Brother, uh, <laughs> the, oh, see, I can't even name anything, just anything in that realm, like love and hip hop, stuff like that. Like, I don't really know. I, I know what Twitter tells me. I know what my friends tell me. I know what pop culture and media tells me, but I don't watch. I don't engage. I'm not an active participant. I never have been. But the Claremont twins have always been on my radar um and over the years i've actually really enjoyed their bimbofication if you're not familiar with bimbofication the definition has definitely been on the screen but just to reiterate it for you all bimbofication is the term that comes from bimboization right and it's used to refer to the process of a person acquiring the physical or mental traits that are typically associated with a bimbo this can refer to a person's conscious decision or through a perceived change in their actions personality please understand that i am not referring to the claremont twins as bimbos in any way to demean or degrade them absolutely not i'm also not using it to uplift or venerate them i am using it in this context to explain what image they are giving us right so the Clare the claremont twins have very clearly and very successfully bimbofied themselves on purpose 
And uh, what's always gotten me is this like kind of fake outrage. And I'm going to call it fake outrage. The fake outrage about the way that they look. Because why does it matter? Like literally, why does it matter to you? Why does it matter to you? What does it have to do with you? Why can't we just support them, uplift them and help them win? Here's my hot take. I think that black people and more in specific black women hmm, should support those of us who are doing what they can to get ahead in this society. Do I wish that we lived in a society that made it so the Claremont twins never felt that they ever had to buy into bimbo culture to get what they wanted to get? Of course I do. I wish that we lived in a society that made it so people of any <laughs> right ethnicity didn't feel the need to get a BBL or any body modifications, truly. But that's not the one that we live in. People get body modifications. It is what it is. I think what upsets and angers people so much is that we haven't really seen black women get body modifications to such an extreme and win. The Claremont twins have gone beyond Instagram bimbo models, right? The Claremont twins have gone beyond BBL models. The Claremont twins have also gone beyond BBL fashion. The Claremont twins have walked in high fashion hawk tour runways. Runways. They have walked runways that people train their whole lives to walk. And they got there looking how they look. And yes, I would assume at this point, many of us have seen the images of them that are unedited, no filter, no makeup, this, that, and the third. And sure, someone could argue that they are botched. I don't think they're botched. Sometimes I think that people don't understand that people do things on purpose. The Claremont twins want to look that way. They want to look plastic. The Claremont twins, with their proportions of all of their body modifications, have never been aiming to look realistic, right? The Claremont twins have never been trying to feed us this attainable body modification image. No, they are going for bimbo. They are going for plastic. They are going for extreme and exaggerated. And my question is, why can't the Claremonts win if we are going to let the Kardashians win? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Why can't the Claremont twins win if we're going to let the Kardashians win? If we're going to let the Iggy Azaleas win? If we're going to let any other non-black woman who is wearing us as costume win, why aren't the Claremont twins allowed to win too? In our minds, because they're winning amongst the circles that they're in. Even if you are laughing at them, it doesn't matter. (laughs) They know people are laughing at them. They know that. They are very well aware that people are laughing at them. They know people make fun of the way that they look. But the way that they look has been a long-term financial investment. I'm going to say it again. The way that they look has been a long-term financial investment. We live in a time now where if you have the means to do so, you could say fortunately, you could say unfortunately. It's a glass half full, half empty kind of thing. We live in a world now, in a society now, where if you have the means to do so, If you would like to modify your body, it can absolutely, if you play it that way, it can absolutely put you on a track to financial success, to financial success in a way that, yeah, you would have never experienced before as quickly. I'm not going to say never in your life. 
I do believe that the Claremont twins, if they hadn't gotten the body modifications or if they had still gotten the body modifications, but not to this extreme, I think they could have still amassed the wealth that they have. I think it would have just taken them a bit longer and they might have had to play a different kind of game, but they didn't want to play that game. (laughs) They didn't want it to take longer. They wanted to play the game they wanted to play and they have been playing it very, very well, very, very well. And when we talk about bimbofication, we talk about bimbo culture, we often think of white women as well. There are a lot of very prominent white, um, I guess you could call them, yeah, like IG models or whatever, um, adult stars, is that in the third, who look like the Claremont twins and who have and who have looked like the Claremont twins before the Claremont twins were even boring, right? The way that the Claremont twins look isn't anything new. I just think it's the first time we've seen it on black women. Because if you think about it, the Claremont twins before the body modifications, you know, they weren't particularly slim girls. They could have definitely worked out, gained weight, and built their bodies. It wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have looked the same, but they could have given, they could have gotten themselves bigger butts and bigger boobs uh, without the modifications. I also think they could have not have gotten as drastic and dramatic modifications, but like I have been saying for like 10 minutes, they did it on purpose. Bimbofication wins. The blow up doll bimbo barbie proportions plastic look wins and works because it can be packaged up and sold easily as extreme as their body modifications are it actually makes them a really good blank slate and template for clothing for makeup for hair Here's how I look at bimbofication. You have, right, you have the extreme, let's say, supermodel look. What do you think of? You think of this very tall, very thin, kind of statuesque looking person. Most of the time, their thinness is more on the extreme side. And most of the time, their thinness isn't even a natural thinness, right? They've achieved being that thin by extreme measures. Claremont twins have gone on the opposite of that. They have achieved being as curvaceous as they are by very extreme measures. Like, so extreme, it's very clear it's not real. Like, there's not a single person that would see the Claremont twins walking down the street all done up or not who would believe that's their natural anything. And that's what they want. They want to cause attention. They want to be looked at. They want to be ogled. They want to be asked questions. They want to be photographed. They want to be the center of attention. And it worked. It worked. The only thing that I think I take issue with, like I said before, is black people, but in particular black women, who want to poke fun at them. I don't get it. First of all, sis, what are you gaining by poking fun of the Claremont twins? Like, literally, what is that doing for yourself and your self-esteem in your life? And you're not doing anything. Anytime you're talking about them, you're giving them more money. I'm making this video because I am super glad to give Sinead and Shannon a little quaint. Okay? I actually have had the privilege of being in, I'll say, limited contact with them. I like them. (laughs) I really like Sinead and Shannon. Okay? I really like Sinead and Shannon. Yes, they've made their mistakes. Nade went to jail. So, okay, all right. Um, But I like them. I like them. And I like that they are very aware of what they're doing. I like how purposeful they are about it. Anybody who gets a body modification does it for their own reasons. It is what it is. They go on about their lives. The Claremont twins modified their bodies in such a way that they knew could be sold, that they knew couldn't really be replicated. They played up being twins, but they played up the bimbo. We've never really seen black women play into the bimbo aesthetic. And I know, I know, like we're trying to step away from the hot top Venus. We're trying to step away from the Jezebel. We're trying to step away from being over-sexualized and everything like that. But like, y'all, can we just for like once, can we for once, can we just for once 
clap. No, seriously, like, can we can we for once just clap and give it up for women who say, "I'm a you know what? I'm a play this game. I'm gonna play this game so daggone freaking well that I'm gonna make sure that I'm set up for generations upon generations upon generations." The Caramel twins have set their family up for generational wealth. They have employed their family members. The Claremont Twins are a business. The Claremont Twins are a brand. The Claremont Twins are trademarked. Sweetie, copywritten, squeedy. They are. Literally, they are. So when people are so dedicated in that way where they are putting their image, their literal image and body, their body out there like that, all I can do is clap and applaud them. I'm so serious. All I can do is clap and applaud them. I don't got no judgment. I don't have no judgment. I have no judgment. I have, first of all, who am I to pass judgment? <laughs> but also, why would I pass judgment on these two black women? Why? So what? They got body modifications. Y'all want to sit here and claim that every single person that gets a BBL in a nose job hates themselves. When half the time, let's be honest, y'all don't even know who has a nose job and doesn't because, sweetie, let's talk about it, okay? A lot of your faves have nose jobs and you don't know that because it's not your business. <laughs> the Claremont twins got surgeries that are so extreme. Of course, it's our business and they've made it our business and they know they literally promote their surgeons. Y'all, it's a business. Give it up for the corporation that is the Claremont twins, Bimbofication is always going to win and the Claremont twins are always going to win because they're smart about it and they're organized about it and they are purposeful and intentional about it. I think anytime you do something with intention, you will be rewarded. The Claremont twins got surgery with intention and so they have been rewarded. Why are you mad? Oh, because they're what? They're reinforcing the toxic stereotype of the but the but the the but the but the shut. Sorry. Not shut up, but just like okay, and like some people just want to get plastic surgery and that's really not your business. I guess maybe one day we'll we'll be a society where nobody feels the pressures to have a bigger butt, smaller nose, or a bigger nose, smaller lips, or bigger lips, you know, bigger eyes, or smaller eyes. Like, maybe one day, but we're not there yet. And I think until we get there, I'm okay with women who lean into it and play into it. Here's my thing. If you realize you're going to be sexualized, you can either play into it or you cannot. Right, we've all seen that women can be in full burqa and be sexualized. So it actually has nothing to do with the body. It has everything to do with the sex. It has everything to do with the gender. It has nothing to do with the body. It has to do with the assertion of dominance over the gender. And I appreciate that the Claremont twins have said We see y'all. We see you. We see all of you. Especially you, masculinity. (laughs) Like, we see all of it. Okay? And we've decided that we're going to play into it. And we're going to profit from it until, I guess, we can't profit from it anymore. And by the time that the Claremont twins can, quote unquote, no longer profit from their bimbofication, they'll probably stop looking like bimbos. They probably will stop looking plastic. They'll probably take out what they can and they will shift and they will pivot and they will do something else like Kim Kardashian is doing. So, but Claremont twins are going to win. Bimbofication will always win. I would love to hear your thoughts on bimbofication on, on the Claremont twins and how you feel about it. My stance is this. I hope the girls continue to win. I would love to see them walk a couple of more runways. I'm really excited about what they're doing in fashion and I'm appreciative of their stance. I like the fact that they're actually proud of their surgery and I like the fact that they constantly share how strategic that they've been about their surgeries and I like how transparent they've been about what their surgeries have afforded them. I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't. And I really don't think anybody else should either. Most of the time we have a problem with what someone else has done 
It's because either I feel secretly deep down inside, (laughs) you want to do it too, but you just won't allow yourself to live in that truth or because it is making you aware of an insecurity that you have that you're not willing to address yet. Oops, I said it. Um, That's it. That's my video for today. I just want to talk about that. I like the Claremont twins. Huge fan of Sinead and Shannon. And I really don't get what all the hullabaloo is about when it comes to their bodies. They're not botched. They're not botched. They did it on purpose. Okay. Bye.